Connecticut's Ukrainian community says they've lost plenty of sleep uh, by not hope uh, by uh, that somehow they will survive the Russian invasion. And that includes a University of New Haven professor who is a native of Ukraine and whose close family remains there. Fox 61's Tony Terzi joins us live from New Haven with why she does not see this ending well for Ukraine. Tony. Hey there, Carmen. Uh, we are live outside Michael's, St. Michael's Church, which is one of many Ukrainian Catholic church across the state that are going to be holding prayer services tonight at 7 o'clock to pray for the folks in Ukraine. Now, as for that University of New Haven professor to whom you referred, she was supposed to be in Ukraine as of last week, but she thought better of it. My immediate family that are in occupied territories are actually in some ways more safe than in the rest of Ukraine where uh, you know, there's ongoing shelling missile strikes. She, like other Connecticut residents with strong ties to Ukraine, are devastated over the Russian president's desire to remake the former Soviet Union. Putin can't seem to get it through his thick imperialistic skull that Ukraine is a different country, that the Ukrainian people uh, voted by 92% of the population for independence. I'm pessimistic about uh, us being able to deter him um, because it's not a new development. Putin had been obsessed with um, you know, uh, reversing Ukraine's pro-Western integration since at least 2014. And others also feel Putin will ultimately succeed. But one Connecticut Ukrainian says if that did happen, Ukraine would gain its independence again someday. He will pass Putin. And I don't believe that Russian society will, in the end, agree with what he is doing. Professor Lenin says it's unlikely the U.S. troops would engage the Russians unless Putin threatened NATO allies like Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia directly. He's going to pay the price for this and the Ukrainian people will resist him. It may not and they may not win the first battles in, in this war and the Ukrainian people will survive this just as we've survived the Mongol invasions and the Nazis and the Soviets. Yeah, I'm back here live uh, in New Haven, where tonight at 7 o'clock there's going to be a prayer service here at the St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church. And that's one of many Ukrainian Catholic churches across the state that will be holding those prayer services. So if you can get out there and show support, please do so. We're live in New Haven. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.